good morning so i just wanted to do a mental diary today sort of clear my head um chat with y'all connect with y'all i know that it's been a minute um as far as videos go <clears throat> i feel like i'm always wearing the same couple of outfits but these slip dresses at least the lighter ones are my housewear the heavier ones I use for outside. Um, and these days I just grab whatever the hell's on top of the pile. So everything's clean. It just happens to be the same with three, four outfits. Anyhow, um, I did compile my goal list for the month. It took me all day, well, all evening. Um, I think on the second. Because... I really didn't know what to write. Um, I have problems with setting goals, and I know it derives from number one. If it's not perfectly constructed or perfectly done, it bothers me. And number two, it's a small belief in the back of my head that it's not gonna get done anyway. And along those lines, I am learning that. Um, just being in this environment, how I was raised, and the situations I've gotten myself into, that um, I have a problem putting myself as a priority. And it's not so much that I don't know the things I want to do, or get into, or try, or like desires or anything I don't feel like I'm lost on that front it's just like there's just so much chaos that I try to quiet the chaos so much to where like I put aside whatever was on my to-do list for me personally that even includes like YouTube as a hobby like I'd <clears throat> There's a lot of times on Instagram where I do like I've been start I've started doing not on the Instagram I share the one I used to share I started doing um like an activity log for the day kind of like what I have in my mind of what I'm going to do and sometimes editing is on that list of course and then like I would literally have my laptop set up my phone is ready about to transfer files if I'm sitting down with the program open and phone starts ringing or someone would say oh I know you're doing something but and I've become so used to being disregarded by people that I feel like I'm also doing it to myself. Like, I'd be like, what's the point? <laughs> um, and I know it's my depression talking, but, you know, behind your depression. <clears throat> our thought patterns, um, our systems of beliefs are... Um, triggers, there are situations, there's, you know, if it's not just like depression caused by a specific event, if it's an actual disorder, there's heavy shit behind it usually. Um, and even sometimes when you're over that heavy stuff, um, those those negative coping mechanisms those habits and those thoughts are still ingrained in you so it's like you're fighting kind of like two people who you've been and who you're trying to be um and it's even more complicated when you're surrounded by people well on a day-to-day -day basis 
that's okay with being the same person they were 10 years ago, you know? Um, <clears throat> and I say on a day-to-day -day basis because the folks I talk to, like my outside family, the ones that don't live with me, that I do communicate with on a almost daily basis, do not have that mindset. Um, the folks I know from YouTube that have my actual phone number do not have that mindset. Um, so I wanted to make that distinction, make it be clear. Um, I tr trying to make myself as clear as possible these days. I also noticed that um, because I've always been shy, And that shyness plus being isolated as a teen turned into social anxiety because of that um, and just my natural inclination to be quiet sometimes I have problems with diction and I'm wondering if part of it's like feeling like nobody cares anyway so why am I talking louder um <clears throat> and knowing that the human race in general of course it doesn't apply to everybody um they listen to respond or they already have their reaction like already like ready to go they're just waiting for you to say something kind of thing so, um, I mean, that was part of one of the reasons why about a decade ago I even started YouTube was to have a voice. Um, was to be creative again. And while this is a public platform, it was still away from the people that made me feel as though being an individual wasn't okay. Like very, very few people that I know in the touchable world <laughs> um, have my YouTube or have any social media of mine. Um, even like cousins and things like that, like I've had cousins like on Facebook when I was on Facebook, um, if I felt like they were sharing what I was sharing from my heart with extended family members, I would cut them off. So the people that I know personally, like by blood or whatever, that have my socials or people I know who can keep their damn mouth shut. <laughs> like, if I wanted certain things shared with family, I would be talking to them in person. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm not doing subliminals. I'm not, like... Like, when I share things about family, it's more so how I feel and how you know, certain toxic behaviors have affected me or just, like, things that have irritated me. Um, I've always tried my best to not put anyone's personal information that did not need to be out there. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of like how I'm estranged from my father, but you don't see me ranting about him, mainly because, like, Number one, for what? And number two is, is not even like on some I wish him harm or ill will type of stuff. Um, just wasn't there the way I think a father should have been there. So I stopped talking to him. And <laughs> that's the end of it. <clears throat> there don't need to be no rundown of what happened or nothing like that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I feel like if I didn't even live with certain family members, I probably wouldn't even mention them either. Um, and honestly, I 
want this like chapter closed um not so much like i'm gonna excommunicate completely but to have it like very restricted for my own sanity um the codependence is a big blockage in my growth um and like I said, I feel like there's a constant internal battle, like, <laughs> to make myself feel important. And you should never feel like you're not important in life. And I'm not even talking about to other people, like, you can't control how other people feel about you. I'm talking about to yourself, like... Imagine you wake up and you're like, what the hell am I waking up for? There ain't nothing, you know, there ain't nothing really that, like, is making me happy. There ain't nothing really that seems worth it. Um, the connections aren't connecting. <laughs> um, everything around you feels dead, you know, like, shit like that. Or even, like, simple shit, as I notice why ordering stuff um became more of a habit than it used to be i mean back last year and the year before the money was actually there but why the well for the most part <laughs> why that like is a continuing stream is because it's something that makes me feel important like oh there's something for me oh i can actually have what i want like and I need to be able to find that and be that um, outside of instant gratification. Because that's how you get yourself in trouble, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I be geared up to do shit and then I got to choose. And even when I choose myself, it still doesn't feel good because I'm guilted. And I'm the type of person where if I'm connected to you and I care about you, um, the way you act affects me. And I try to master the art of detachment, but... It's just how I am. I mean, it used to also be that random people could affect me. But um, I've gotten way, 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 way better at that. But if you're, you're somebody who I care about in the core of my heart, like you acting detached because of something I did, even if it was something I did for my best interest hurts my heart like <laughs> it really really hurts my heart and I don't know how to like just deal with that and keep it pushing because sometimes you just gotta do shit that people are not okay with you know like that's how you grow and get shit done <laughs> um and that's why I feel like a lot of things are stunted on my end because I haven't got over that part of like just letting people stay mad and be mad. Um, yeah. So I'll share with you some of my August goals because I'm really not in the mood to be emotional and I got like two appointments later and I want to get into my um, coursework today because I wanted to finish it up this week because it was July's goal and well shit happens but I think I can at least get it done before Sunday. That's my hope anyway. Um, so what I did, I had reviewed the other two months goals because on tiktok i've been sharing goals for the summer like each month i've had different goals excuse me 
so um just as a review of what i had so far was focus on abundance complete certificate program attend all appointments wear summer clothes without regrets stay fnf uh, address negative coping mechanisms create content that's soul pleasing which i have for tiktok but not really youtube because i haven't actually published anything um using the gym as anxiety therapy shadow work journaling read self-compassion by neff which is a book i have on kindle um but i actually started a different book i've started so many books this year it's or the past year really it's actually <laughs> but this current book um what was it i think it's a law of manifestation simplified I've actually read more of that than I've read of most books lately. Um, it's a shorter one. I think it's like, I think it's 90 pages. Don't quote me. Um, anyway, the last one is making balance eating a priority again. Um, and I really, really need to get on that because there's a medication that my doctor wants to increase if certain blood work is not where it should be so i have about a month well i had six weeks but currently i have about a month. <laughs> i'm laughing but it's a nervous laughter um so then with each of these goals that were for june and july i then made notes under it as to on progression with them for the certificate program i have one course left um, for the appointments, I attended all like the familiar ones, like the people or health professionals that I know, but I wasn't good with keeping up with like the newer people. So I didn't do all the appointments. I've gotten good with, I've gotten better with wearing my clothes without like self critiquing myself in my head and analyzing and looking at my reflection every damn five minutes while I'm outside. So I've been able to like wear my shorts that are that have been shorter than I'm used to. And I had a day where I just did not think about it. So um, yeah, the next goal with that is to diversify what I'm wearing outside because I do have things where I just grab and I know that it's like safe. Um, for the dudes that are on bs they kind of eliminated themselves so whatever and i've been okay with blocking people getting better but been okay with that um my negative coping mechanism are isolation binging external validation and avoidance so i've recognized them the next step would be to actually do something about them um I have been going back to the studio, but not as frequently as I was pre-surgery. So I'm still like working on that. I'm not where I want to be with that. Um, I started the shadow journaling. Um, I want to continue using some Pinterest prompts I have saved. And um, the eating has improved but it's nowhere where it needs to be okay um august goals i feel like because i didn't know what to put I, I did a lot of tiktok research and then wrote down what i felt spoke to me so right now i feel like i have too many here for like a month <laughs> but um we gonna go through what i have anyway this is going to be a longer video. Okay, so I want to be more intentional with the time I spend with myself, focusing on having like more pure fun, basically being outside of my head, um, continuing to work on like going outside, um, outside of the realm of errands, um, I guess just looking at myself more as a person and not like 
I don't know, a computer machine that conducts to-do lists. Um, complete the fourth course of the certificate. Um, listen to at least one motivational podcast on Spotify and center my YouTube viewings on growth. Um, basically with that, it's not that I'm going to stop watching things like hair videos and clothing hauls because I love those. Um, it's more so also about like energy. How do I feel watching these people? Um... I honestly have way too many subscriptions and there doesn't really need to be a limit it's just that sometimes you ever realize you're not watching certain people and it's not that there's anything wrong with them you're just not gravitating to it um also I've saved like tons of videos that are like more of thinking in depth about life and um just very deeper topics and I haven't given myself the capacity to like get into those so I'd like to um I have reacclimated to the studio and being strength focused and stretching daily so I have two times a week minimum I think that's very doable for going to the studio I didn't want to write like what I've seen about like five days a week four days a week and not that there's anything wrong with that um Personally, me trying to jump into that would be setting myself up because, <laughs> like, it's not something consistent for me. Um, I want to use this journal I have for, ooh, for gratitude practice. It's something I got from Target. Um, it's by M and Friends, I guess. And it, like has inner check-ins I don't know if you can see that because my light is inner check-ins and gratitude list topics I had seen this when I was uptown once I'm like I want this book so I think like a month or so later I just ordered it online because I took like a picture of it um so I want to start using that And then I have drink a smoothie and eat at least one vegetable daily. I also need to be more protein focused. Like my protein percentages suck. That could also be why I have very little to no strength. Um, And working on waking up with a positive belief for the future. um, I'm not really sure what the steps to that is going to be. But it definitely needs to be a goal. Um, continuing to use my um, pill organizer because sometimes I... This going to sound weird as hell. Sometimes I lose track of days. Like everything just feels like it's together in a big clump. So sometimes I don't know if I took... The medicine I'm supposed to have taken so I started about two weeks ago using the pill organizer I bought eons ago um, to like actually see okay well today's blah 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 did I take this day's pill um, tap into seductive energy um, I didn't really specify for myself what that means, but I'll think about that more. Um, I need to do a closet clear out. (laughs) Is that going to be done this month? I don't know, but it's on the list. (laughs) Uh, Think twice about purchases, including Grubhub. Cook once a week. Of course, I used to cook way more than that, but trying to build back up, um, I've sort of started resenting cooking, which is only really harmful to myself also. But there's this grand expectation that I should be the one doing it all the time. And that leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. So I had stopped 
especially with like the year and so where it wasn't good to do anything okay um apply effort into figuring out a financial freedom plan and looking into finally the care assistant position so that's august goals in september we can check back and see how many of those have gotten done I think also along with having that as a goal would be to read that every day because sometimes you write things down you put it away and then you just get busy with everyday life and you're like oh damn I was supposed to do x y and z so um waking up every morning and reading that would be the first start to even attempting any of these goals um but yeah just wanted to check in what was on my head, what was in my heart, and um, share with you the game plan. I got two hours before my next appointment, so I'm going to try to do um, a course. And then, hopefully later today, I'll actually cook something, but I make no promises. <laughs> see yeah I haven't written down what the next class is so can't even tell you so let me go there's my papers for my notes thank you so much for watching and listening I appreciate you um, feel free to comment let me know if you liked the video and we'll chat again soon all right peace